this is something I asked myself. And from time to time, I sit and just wonder. In fact, a um, few months ago, I did a survey and sent it out to people with regards to moi, with regards to Stella Blaze. Now, so what this post is about is if someone thought about you, what will they say? Let's not even go too far. Let's just talk about 2021, the 11 months that have gone past, the people you've associated yourself with and all that. What will they say about you? You can do the survey. Send people texts, email, WhatsApp, whatever. Tell them to tell you what they think about you honestly. Now, these same people, when your name is mentioned, as I mean your name is Sylvia, or your name is John, John Johnson. Let's take that for an example. If that's anybody's name, I don't know. I just use that as an example. If John Johnson is mentioned to a person, to a group of people somewhere, what do you think they would be saying about John Johnson? What will they say about you? Think about it. Think about it. And you can always find out. So that adjustments are made. You know, nobody's perfect. There is not one single human perfect being. And actually, when I did the survey, I got a lot of um, a lot of people telling me, you work too hard, you work too hard. And, you know, I sort of, I don't really work that hard. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. That's why I say it's a playground. But to people, they think I work really hard. Which was like, hmm. I mean, I love what I do. I love my life. I love my life with its challenges and everything. So, yeah, they were able to say, you work really hard and somewhere like you love, you enjoy life. Of course, <laughs> you're given the gift of life. <laughs> You've got to enjoy it. My God, you don't know what tomorrow holds. So I enjoy, I kind of milk every day as, as much as I can. You know, I'm doing what I love to do. I'm doing this post just for the fun of it because I love to do it. I love to talk to people. I love to share my experience, you know. I've, I've wanted to do it for, forever. So when I summoned up the courage to start posting, I mean, it's just been on. I haven't repeated. I repeat, I haven't repeated. Three times a week I post and I love it. Three things I set out to do. That was in 2019, sorry, 2020 when this pandemic thing started. It was playing the guitar, sewing or doing this post i tell you the truth as you all know i kind of like say it the way it is the guitar i have not touched to maybe i tried for one month and then i dropped it the machine i have not sat on it maybe more than once or twice so i'm very passionate about this yeah because there are some people that will say it's a lot of trouble to do this, but it's not for me. I love it. Is it the dressing up a little compared to sitting on the machine, putting the thread or carrying the guitar and doing the da da da? Don't get me wrong, the guitar I will still learn, you know, because I love to sing. Those of you who don't know me, I love to sing. I was signed on years ago before I, before I got married. Before I started having children, got married, I'm not in marriage, I'm not married anymore, yeah. By a recording company that was called, that was called Tabansin Records in Lagos. And I even went to Onicha then to um, do the recordings and all that. And yeah, 
it was an interesting time but you know when i had my daughter when i got married and had my daughter mm, that that phased out but still i love to sing even um in the late 80s i still waxed an album praise and worship you know i think i, I can find the cds somewhere so i love to sing but playing the guitar mm, it's not really my thing but i what is one of those things on my list pocket of list of things that i want to do you know sewing not so much i love to wear the clothes somebody else can do the troubles of doing the sewing i love to design i design my clothes i design anything you see me wear i designed i design sometimes i buy ready-made clothes but i still tweak it i 